Right, Graham, we'll give this a go anyway. Okay. We'll see. Um, there's one just sort of sat down anyway. We'll it's all right, Dave. Yeah. I can't see. <clears throat> Uh, Graham, can you tell me first of all uh, how long you've been doing this and why you started doing it? Um, we did our first survey back in 2006, I think, which was um, Burke's Fell in the Yorkshire Dales. Uh, why do we do it? We do it because um, several several reasons, if you'll allow me just to expand. Yeah. Um, first of all, um, we've been hill walking for many years and we've done lots of hill lists and in doing those you then look for a new challenge to take you out in the hills <clears throat> and this is this is the challenge that we found whether you like it or not you know um, we found we enjoy doing it the, the second reason I think is because in doing lists of hills as we've done like the Munros and the Corbett's up in Scotland the 2,000 foot uh, mountains in England and Wales Irritatingly, you find every so often somebody comes along and finds a new one, or they revise the uh, the list. And doing what we do, we hope will make those lists basically uh, robust for forever, <clears throat> because you measure all the marginal ones, and then you've got a robust list. So that is a, another reason for doing it. The third reason is that um, John and myself are uh, editors of the database of British Hills which is probably one of the better um, <coughs> websites on the, um, uh, on the web for, um, for hills. And all of the data that we take goes into that um, and is recorded for posterity. So th those are the three drivers really that, um, that take us out into the, um, into the hills doing these measurements that we do. Would you say that accuracy is something that's always bothered you? Yeah, I'm a pedant. <laughs> um, I suppose it's, I, I went to university and did, did science, so um, I've always been interested in quantifying things and therefore um, knowing that something is right and that the result is accurate is, is important to me. Um, a lot of people just sort of like to say, well, yeah, it's about right, but no, I'm a pedant, I, I like to know whether it is or isn't right. Absolutely right. <laughs> It has to be, I mean, it has to be absolutely right. It has to be as right as I can make it um, for the purposes for which we need to do it. Yeah, that's right. Um, so let, let's take the, the hill that we're doing today or the mountain that we're doing today. Um, it's very close to that borderline and therefore it's on the list. And should it be on the list or shouldn't be on the list? And if it should or shouldn't be, we need to know and therefore we need to measure it. And the more accurately you can measure it, the more certain you can be of the result. So here's the thing, I, I'm, I don't do this and I very rarely climb mountains or hills, but I'm struck by the, you know, the stunning sort of surrounding uh, and it does sort of take your breath away, doesn't it? You know, being in places like this and make you think about all sorts of things, you know, if you let it sort of. But does any of that have any impact on you anymore or, or are you just here sort of taking measurements? No, it, it has a, a big impact. I mean, <clears throat> why do we go out into the hills? We go out to enjoy ourselves. Um, I'm personally interested in natural history, so I like to see what flowers are growing there, what birds I can see in the sky. Um, and I like looking at the landscape around me. Um, and that's always a big driver for anybody to get into the hills. I, I don't believe there's anybody out there that doesn't go hill walking for, for one of those three things at least. Um, in terms of the surveying, I think that's, that's an extra driver. Um, if you've gone out and done, say, all the 2,000 foot hills in England and Wales, then you can go on to the next layer down if you want, there's another list for that. Um, or you can do other things, like surveying. And I would like to think it's perhaps putting a little bit back into, um, into the hobby that we've um, enjoyed for so many years. And, and if we do uh, climb a mountain and, and ultimately walk down a hill, does that matter? <sighs> It depends who you are, <laughs> I think. Um, if you're the person that's um, doing the list of hills and you've not yet completed them, um, and that hill is suddenly promoted and you've not been up it, or it's been demoted and you have been up it, then <laughs> you think, oh, have I wasted my time? Or, oh, no, I've got another one to do. So if you're a keen hill bagger, you may, you may think like that. To the vast majority of people that walk up hills just for the enjoyment of it, they don't tick lists, um, <clears throat> then it doesn't matter. Um, that's, that's the enjoyment of going out into the hills, I think. Lots of people come here 
and they do their own thing, they get their own enjoyment out of it, and I think that's the important thing. The important thing is getting out into the hills and enjoying enjoying the fabulous scenery that we've got in this country. And yet, at the same time, I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, you did, you, all of you, promote Thackmore from a hill to a mountain, which is sort of quite fun, isn't it? Uh, y yes, definitely. I I'd said a while ago that I, uh, for me accuracy was very important and I liked measuring things and if I was completely objective it wouldn't matter to me whether something stayed exactly the same, whether it was um, changed, in, demoted into another list or reclassified into another list or whether it was promoted into a list. Um, I have to say that in the case of Thackmore or a few years ago, Manus Krygoch, which is just a few uh, miles down the road, we got enormous enjoyment out of getting something promoted. It's totally irrational, but I think that's the way the human psyche works, to be honest. <laughs> and if you weren't doing this, I mean, you're retired now, aren't you? You, you were at ICI. Largely, yeah, that's right, yes. I mean, I don't know, would there be other things that you could occupy your time with, or do you think this is it? Um, well, doing what we do beats redecorating the lounge, for example. Um, I enjoy uh, going out, um, looking at natural history in general. Uh, so my wife and I quite like going walking at lower level walks and looking at the plants and that that are growing, um, watching bird watching. We go out uh, quite a lot to the local RSPB reserve, for example, and um, thoroughly enjoy that. So there are lots of other things that I do enjoy in life. I'm not just uh, solely uh, intent on, um, on measuring hills, but measuring hills is really good fun. Uh, I get a kick out of it and uh, I hope it's doing something that's marginally useful at the end of the day. Lovely, great. Thank you very okay. much. That was very nice, thank you. Very good, right. Let's, uh, we'll get John in next.